This is the end zone. We've got an exciting video today. The other day I was watching Fox Sports and they were doing a top five transfers. They did a good job with it, but I think I can do better. So with that being said, let's get into our top five college football transfers for the 2020 season. And we will begin with our honorable mentions. J.D. Spielman to TCU, Jabril Cox to LSU, Jake Bentley to Utah, Keaton Thompson to Virginia, Tariq Black to Texas, Peyton Ramsey to Northwestern, Phil Jerkovic to Boston College, and Theo Howard to Oklahoma. If we missed any in the honorable mentions, make sure to comment down below. With that being said, let's get into our top five. At number five, we have Quincy Roach coming from Temple. Roach had a monster 2019 season with 13 sacks. Add him to a defensive line with Gregory Rousseau, and you will have one of the, if not the best, pass rushing units in college football. Miami now has two players who finished in the top five for sacks in 2019, and Quincy Roach will definitely help this Miami defense take a huge stride this season. At number four, we have Trey Sermon. The Buckeyes are going to have a strong two-headed monster this year with Trey Sermon and Master Teague at the running back positions. Sermon saw a huge step back in terms of touches and production last year at Oklahoma with 54 rushes and 385 yards on the ground, but he did, however, average seven yards per carry. He has yet to eclipse 1,000 yards in a season, but in 2019, he ran for 947 and 13 touchdowns. It's not all about the stats, though, because when you watch his tape, you notice that he's an explosive and very nice complement to Master Teague's more physical running style. Sermon can open up the Ohio State offense as a more explosive unit because of his elite athleticism. At number three, we have K.J. Costello. Mississippi State landed a huge transfer and former Stanford quarterback K.J. Costello. Mike Leach saw K.J. Costello rip apart his defense in 2018 with 323 passing yards and four passing touchdowns. Costello is 6'5", 220 pounds, and has an excellent, consistent knack for mechanics that you want to see in a veteran quarterback. The big question is how will Mississippi State respond to Mike Leach's new and improved air raid offensive system with a shortened and needless to say, odd off season. Costello is also coming off of an injury in 2019, but it looks like he's back to full strength and is ready to lead the Bulldogs in 2020 with Mike Leach's air raid offense. Number two, we have Jamie Newman and JT Daniels. Georgia has the roster to win a national championship. The biggest question surrounding this team is the quarterback position. And while Newman and Daniels are talented, they're not as good as the media hypes them up to be. They both have plenty of issues, but the team around them is, like I said, a championship contending team. It's more about Georgia than Newman or Daniels, regardless of whoever you think will start. For that reason, they are in the number two spot, and there's no denying that the guy slotted for number one is extremely talented. Miami lands not only the top defensive player in all of the transfer portal, but the top offensive player in De'Eric King. King played four years for the Houston Cougars with 49 passing touchdowns and 28 rushing touchdowns. He played four games in 2019 before deciding to redshirt and entered the transfer portal, landing him in a spot with the Miami Hurricanes. He's number one because not only is he the most talented player to enter the transfer portal without a doubt, but he also is going to have a nice season in the ACC this year with Miami. Unlike the pair of transfers Georgia landed, King goes to a team where they well are going to depend on him more than Georgia will depend on Jamie Newman or JT Daniels, whoever gets that start. He is a star, but he is going to be one of the best players not only in the ACC, but in the country this year. He could, in fact, be a Heisman contender, and he will always be the best player on the field when Miami is playing. In his final full season with the Cougars, King passed for 2,900 passing yards and 36 touchdowns with six interceptions. De'Ara King is going to take this Miami offense to a whole nother level. I'd love to know what you think down below. Did we miss any important transfers coming into the season? Maybe Anthony Brown going to Oregon. Again, thanks for watching the end zone. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment so we can move the chains. Thank you.